Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. I was like, who am I doing for a sec? And welcome to your general reading. Um, today, we're going to be seeing who's coming towards you, family, lover, friend, or foe. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates with your gender, switch the world, do what you have to do, and leave the rest okay. If you'd like to book a personal or information on how to do so, is in the description box below. So, what is the overall energy coming for towards Sagittarius? Oh, beautiful. So, we have oh so magical and then we have oh so bewildered, okay? So, I just heard someone is confused by their own magic or somebody is confused at how you do something, okay? So, I feel like you're a very magical being, you're a very magical creature. I'm also getting chaos magic with this as well. So, just be very careful if you are doing something, okay? Because it's going to backfire. So, I'm hearing don't do magic on anyone just do magic on yourself or to protect yourself okay because underneath that we do have oh so deluded okay so i feel like somebody's very confused they just don't know whether they're coming or going okay but i feel like you are very magical you're very enlightening maybe somebody's very confused by you okay i also feel like someone thought that you were doing work but you're actually not or vice versa maybe you thought that someone was doing work on you but they're not but I just feel like something is very enchanting and you're just very taken back by it. You just don't really understand how something is. It's almost like something works like magic, but you're just like, but how? Okay. Or like I said, this could be somebody else's view. Let's just see where this is going. This is for my beautiful Sagittarius. So we have the healer and then we have the alpha at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so beautiful energy. So I feel like you are using magic to heal. Maybe you're trying to heal someone. This could be like a family member. This could be yourself. Okay, I feel like you just have magical healing powers as well. So I'm hearing something about the Midas touch. So I feel like there's something that you do that just kind of just um restores energy. So somebody's kind of just like, well, how did you do that? This could be like Reiki healing as well. So I'm getting like energy healing, okay? So, yeah, someone doesn't really understand how you're able to, like, do something. But I just kind of feel like it just comes naturally to you. Okay. Maybe you're just like, you know, things, you know, shit doesn't really work. But it's kind of like, yeah, you know, all you need to do is light an incense. You know, pay attention to the herbs that you're using. It's something as simple as that. And then something is going to be healed. So, with the alpha, I feel like you're feeling very powerful right now. Because something that you're doing is definitely working. And like I said, somebody's a bit confused as to how. Or how you always manage to heal yourself. Or you come out undefeatable, I want to say. Or unfazed. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, guys. We have the influence at the bottom of the deck. I mean, the influence wanted to come out. Sorry. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the selfie. Um, Leo just got this. So, you could be dealing with the Leo. You could have significant Leo placements. Okay. Um, so yeah, somebody, I feel like something that you say is very healing. So I feel like you're healing somebody with your words, something that you're saying, something that you're doing. So I'm hearing that your words have power. This could be affirmations as well. This could be something that you're listening to, to help to heal yourself. So like I said, it's almost like you're just figuring out how does this work? Okay. I'm, I'm getting something about rewiring the brain. Okay. So you definitely could be dealing, listening to like subliminals or something like that. Okay. But I'm getting like something about frequencies is very, um, useful here also i'm getting something about imagery yeah underneath that we have the diet so imagery is very healing as well so i keep forgetting that like i'm far away from the camera um so this could literally be putting pictures of like healthy things around you like pictures of fruit okay it's really going to change because i'm getting something about you're doing alchemy but um some of you have you watched the secret if you haven't watched the secret or you haven't read the book you need to watch that I think it's on Netflix or you have to read the book, okay? Especially if you're creative or if you're an artist of some kind or a musician, okay? Because I feel like your 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 alchemy is, is in your imagery or in your work. So whatever your talent is, whatever your skill is, so for example, skill, whatever your skill is. So for example, if you're a writer, writing is your power. Therefore, you write um, healing things and you put words around you. Like you have like, framed words and images like you know how like for example i have love as a clock over there it says love and in, in the o there's a clock then i have love over there and it's got lights in it then i have love over there you know because i'm very venusian i like love so i've got the word love around so that i'm always surrounded by love okay so um if you're a writer that is your magic power your words have power more than anybody else's just because it's a natural gift to you so you need to be writing things down if you play instruments 
okay display the instruments in certain places um play a song that is kind of very healing or adding that healing frequency or doing affirmations to that song okay or, or always play music always play instruments when when you're um like i'm hearing something about acoustic music okay if you're an artist paint things draw things that you want to see that you want to embody i'm hearing something about a vision board some of you need to create a vision board but something has very heavy influence on you or another person Okay, but whatever it is, it's very good. It's a good influence, okay? But I'm hearing like I need to see it to believe it, but I feel like you're going to see something, something transform or something heal based on something that you did. So yeah, with the bewildered and the oh so magical, it's just like, oh my God, I can't believe that worked or I can't believe it's that simple. Or, I can't believe it or I can't believe you did that, okay? But like I said, I feel like it's a positive thing. So yeah, just pay attention to what it is and who it is that you're listening to. Okay, so please clarify the healer. So we have I am sassy and sexy that wanted to come out. So I feel like you're feeling quite sassy. You're feeling quite feisty. You're feeling quite sexy because you know that you've done something and you know that it worked and you're feeling really confident and really good within yourself. Also, I feel like that is what's really healing. I feel like kind of asserting yourself and saying what's what and what isn't. Okay. You know, it's almost like you're telling someone about their self and they're just looking at you in a trance like, yeah, do you know what? Cuss me out. Like, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, exactly. We have, I'm swept up in romance. Exactly, someone likes that. They like when you're su su sassy and sexy because I feel like it's warranted, okay? Yeah, I am powerful. I'm saying that your words have power. What you're listening to has power. You have powerful influence over somebody or something, okay? So I'm hearing someone is listening to you close and carefully or this is you. But yeah, I am powerful. In indeed, you are. Indeed, you are. Okay. And then, yeah, we have, I am structured and organized that wanted to come out. Okay. So I feel like you're helping someone to organize their thoughts or you are, you could be building on something as well, building on some kind of business. Okay. You're going to get seen. I'm getting a lot of likes, a lot of attention. So beautiful energy, but yeah, structure building. So put place certain things around your home symbolism as well. If you're into symbols, get symbols that mean healing in different languages is what I'm hearing as well. If you speak like a different language, that may be useful. Okay. Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what, what deck did I want to use? Okay, so let's clarify with the tarot now. Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, so we have the Nitus of Wealth that wanted to come out. Okay, so something is coming towards you. Somebody wants to give you something. Or this is you. I'm, I'm seeing that you're getting on something or you're... There's some kind of movement here, whether you're getting on a vehicle, a bike, or you're just going towards something. This could be energetically and you've got your pentacle there. So it's almost like you're working with earth. You're working with something tangible like nature. And this is how you heal. Or somebody could be coming to you to um, offer services to you, to pay you for something. Because I feel like you're so magical. Someone is willing to pay you for your gifts. Okay. But there is an offer coming. I feel like it's a slow offer, but it's coming nonetheless. And when it's coming, when it does come... It's, it's, it's going to be fluent, if that makes sense. So I'm hearing affluence. So you may make a lot of money. Maybe you're doing money work, trying to draw abundance towards you. But there is an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus that is coming towards you, okay? With something. Taurus, Virgo, or a Libra. We have the Divine Feminine, yes. Yeah. So I feel like you're working with nature. I feel like you are very Venusian. You're very magical. You're very bewitching. Gorgeous. Very mysterious with the moon underneath. So yeah, the divine feminine, the empress. So you do something beautifully well. Yeah, the eight of, there you are, Sagittarius. The eight of um, passion. So I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads from the divine on how to do something creatively. Okay. The divine is talking to you. See that rainbow there? I'm also getting the arrows of love. So I feel like somebody is kind of like mesmerized by you or by the way that you communicate, the way that you explain something. But like I said, something is, is I feel like it's taken a long time for something to come. But when it comes, it comes in fast. That's why I, I put her on a cheetah there because, you know, she is like the fastest animal. So like I said, it's, it's coming in fast. Once you understand something or once you do something, you're going to see that it works really, really well to the point where you're just like, oh my goodness, how? Because you're very, very powerful. So I feel like you're going to understand how powerful you are or how powerful your influence is on other people okay there's something that you did or something that you said 
This could be simply you lighting candles, okay? And just speaking to the divine. I'm also getting a lot of back and forth communication as well. A lot of good feedback, especially if it's something online. A lot of people are messaging you and saying something or commenting, okay? And then we have the Empress of Wisdom at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like you're very intelligent. You're very smart. This could, You could be dealing with the Libra. I feel like you have mastered something. I feel like you truly are a mentor or a teacher of some kind. So I feel like you're going to be recognized for your gifts, your talents, and your, your intellect. Like I said, somebody is, is trying to work out how your mind works. They just don't understand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I am on point. Honestly, people, we have the seven of cups. Someone's like, I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm confused, but I'm 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 finna pay you for the confusion, okay? I want to pay you for your services. Like, let me know. Like, don't even tell me the secret. Just just give it to me. Just 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 give me your work. Like, do your work on me, but don't tell me how you did it, is what I'm hearing, okay? But yeah, someone is confused. I feel like this is you as well. You're confused. Just like I don't even know how the fuck I did that. But it happened, okay? So yeah, someone is bewildered, literally. Or, you know, this could be you as well, having so many different options. Because like, like I said, I feel like something is coming to you, it's being presented to you, and you're just like, okay, well, which do I choose or what do I do? If you are doing alchemy, you're thinking, okay, well, what should I work with, okay? So you just don't know, okay? And then, yeah, you're thinking here. But like I said, something about healing, meditation, okay? we got double Libra energy here. So, you know, definitely, well, triple Libra energy, actually. So some of you could have significant Libra placements. You could be Libra Sun, um, Moon, Mercury, Mars. You could have Venus or Jupiter in Leo. In Libra, I don't know why I said Leo. Leo could be very significant. But you're going to get justice for something, okay? But I feel like you just know how to heal. I'm hearing, I'm thinking, that I, I'm seeing you meditate or you're lying down and you're resting and you're just thinking about something. Or you have found the secret on how to heal, I feel like it's all to do with being still and 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 being non-responsive or non-reactive. Or maybe you keep just coming back and someone's like, okay. I also feel like you're silent. I'm hearing your silence is deadly. So I feel like you're not saying anything and someone someone is used to you reacting as a Sagittarius, but you're not saying anything. So someone's like, okay, well, what is your next move? What are they going to do? Like someone's a bit confused because with the sassy, I'm sassy and sexy. I feel like that's your energy. You're normally sassy, you're normally sexy, you normally fight back, but you're kind of slowing your role here. You're just like, nah, I'm just going to wait. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna think. Hmm, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be on some Libra shit, okay? There is a page of cups underneath the Justice cards. I feel like you're getting some kind of apology or something, but yeah, I'm hearing with the Fool card, you're freeing your mind, okay? And then we do we have like a, a divine match here. So I'm hearing maybe you've met your match or someone's met their match with you, but I feel like you're taking more of like a logical approach to something, okay? But you're going to get rapid results is what I'm hearing. So. You need to take your power back. Exactly. So I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're taking all your power. We've got two words, two cards of power here. So I feel like you're taking your power all the way back. Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm taking my power back. And I'm just going to lay. I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to wait for justice to prevail. Okay, definitely could be dealing with a Leo because um, they got that. Justice is coming. I think I put in their reading. Okay, but yeah, you're taking your power back because I feel like you're giving your power away to someone and you're just like, yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Say sorry is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, underneath that justice card, there's that apology because we have the four of swords the justice, and then we have the page of um, passion, and there's that Leo. So I feel like it's a Leo that you're dealing with that needs to apologize to you. So yeah, say sorry. Now, I was going to say it could be you that needs to say sorry, but I don't think so. I feel like someone needs to apologize to you. Yeah, good luck is on your side is underneath that. Okay? So I feel like somebody is going to be made to say sorry to you for disrespecting you in some type of way. And I'm hearing you don't don't say one word. You don't need to say nothing. You don't need to initiate anything. Okay. Like I said, especially if you're the one that has significant Libra placements, like multiple Libra placements. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like four or more Libra placements here. 
three or more, sorry. You have to have at least three Libra placements or more. So if you do, you're the person that doesn't need to say shit, okay? Yeah, the cheerleader. So you have support. The divine is supporting you and directing you on what to do, okay? So I feel like you're healing from something. You're healing from whatever energy this is that's getting you confused or making you confused. With the say sorry, I feel like someone done something to hurt your feelings, so I feel like you're just in your shell right now. You're just resting, okay? And that's what you need to be doing. Yeah, and then we have the culinary queen. Okay, so maybe you're cooking as well. I mean, food is, is like a spell. It's, you know, ingredients. You're mixing flavors together. So that could be, it could be as simple as that. Because I did get that download the other day. I think I got it yesterday or the day before about cook your own food, okay? That's how you heal yourself. The power is in your own creation, okay? Yeah, we have the gypsy at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, you're following your intuition, okay and then the handyman um wanted to come out okay i feel like you're also going to hear some really wise words from somebody who's going to do some kind of repairs for you okay so there's going to be someone that has some um that is of some kind of service so they may come to your home to repair something to install something to fix something i feel like they're going to say something to you that's really going to change your perspective or that's really going to uplift you so if you weren't feeling feeling powerful if you were feeling feeling deflated in any type of way a stranger is going to say something to you that's going to cheer you up that's going to heal you okay because somebody here supports you with the cheerleader and the handyman somebody here is going to help you okay i feel like it's some kind of gypsy type or like i said this could just be your guides okay now, somebody may want to say sorry for not supporting you as well or being supportive of something that you were doing or something that you were trying to say. I feel like somebody, I'm hearing like I was under the influence. Because with the seven of cups and the influence, is somebody may have like a bit of a drinking problem. Maybe when they drink or they're intoxicated, they act differently. Okay. Or maybe this is you, so you're healing from that. You're deciding to cut something off or to cut somebody off. Okay, yeah, it says success. This card has come out like three times. It says, give yourself a round of applause. You've made it. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah, there's something that you're doing and it's going to turn out successfully. And then we have heritage. It says, your ancestors are so proud of you for you are proud of yourself. Exactly. So like I said, I feel like your ancestors are helping you with something here, okay? They're directing you. And I feel like right now they're saying, just sleep on it, just relax, just rest, don't say nothing. Okay, but like I said, somebody owes you an apology here, okay? So let's just do one more. Yeah, share your wisdom. So you see information is coming. I feel like you may be seeing 33s a lot, like 133, 10, 33, 13, 33, okay? So there's some, I feel like as well, maybe you tried to share some knowledge with someone and they had a childish response, Okay. So I feel like it's saying, don't even say nothing. Just keep the knowledge to yourself, okay? And then we have, yeah, honor those that honor you. So like I said, your ancestors, if you have an altar of some kind and you're honoring them, they're, they're, they're very grateful for that. They're great, very grateful for the offerings. Yeah, keep yourself balanced. That's what I'm getting. So justice is underneath two of these, like two of the cards. So justice is coming. I feel like you don't see it or you're not understanding something, but it's coming, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the readings. Bye.